Okay, hello guys. So, a couple of things to start the video off with. First, uh, apparently I have now found a way to record my voice at the same time as playing instead of recording after taking the video. Um, you'll notice my inventory is a little different and my armor is a little different. And you may have noticed that I haven't posted a survival video in a little while. So a little story for you of what happened um, is that I went exploring out over here to get a better look around this area before um, deciding exactly where I was going to build that bridge that I was talking about in another episode, or maybe there was two episodes that I talked about it, um, because we were going to go running around with my horse and go exploring over here with my horse, but all of this is really big, and that would be a really big bridge to build. So, I started exploring over this way, and I found a couple of little holes in the ground, I guess you could say, that um, ended up being little, like, cave system things, and one of them was really, really big, and I got horribly, horribly lost and I did not have a compass on me and so in my attempt to get back home I uh, I died and lost a whole bunch of stuff and a uh, bunch of levels and got pretty upset fortunately of course when I respawned I respawned back at my castle so I mean it wasn't like terribly lost, but, uh, that really cool bow that I had is, um, it's gone, which made me really, really sad. So, I, uh, I spent some time doing some other stuff that I'm gonna show you right now, or right away here. So if you remember from other videos, I talked about getting rid of the barn. Well, it's gone. Uh, I also talked about sort of cleaning up this area a little bit, so I took away a bunch of stuff around here, and you can see I've redecorated these lampposts, I've created some like never-ending fire stuff on, uh, on top of these mining pits which I think looks really nice. You'll notice the dragon head is now completely gone. Um, I have an idea for a replacement for it. I'm just gonna kill the zombie real quick. Die. Die. Give me your helmet too. No, just rotten flesh. Okay, whatever. So up here somewhere I'm gonna go into the nether and collect a bunch of nether rack and quartz and make an like a red dragon head um, and see if I can get lava coming out of its mouth or maybe some fire going in its mouth. I've been playing around with some ideas. Uh, you'll notice something else is missing. There used to be a big monster spawner here. It's gone. There used to be a house there. It's gone. Except for the, the floor, I think. Oh, no, that's that's all dirt. Okay, never mind. Um, so yeah, I've cleaned up all of this stuff and cleaned up the bridge over there too that was going over to the top of the monster spawner. So, uh, what I'm planning on doing 
Um, other than, like I said, the dragon head going up over there and a much, much cooler looking dragon head. Um, replace like all of this cobblestone and stone with grass. Shaving down a bunch of this um, quite a ways, like trying to do some landscaping there so it still looks natural but gives some more space around my mining pits. Um, gonna try and clean up a bunch of this too and landscape it so still looks kind of natural but again gives more space. And then, um, okay, I can't jump over there. Sorry, the screen keeps flicking around. I, my thumb keeps hitting the wrong space, and uh, it just, like, jumps to looking straight up or jumps to looking straight down. So, yeah, I'm, I want to put the monster spawner maybe out here so it's well away from any um, spawning areas for mobs so that um, maybe it will actually start to work properly. Um, that or yeah like maybe out here maybe go straight up from this little island or something. And uh, yeah so I might do that in a video so you guys can kind of see the process of me actually building the mon monster spawner, or at least building some of it. Um, don't die. Okay, good. Um, I'm pretty sure I will do a video of me actually building the dragon head so you guys can see how I do that. Um, those will probably be done in separate videos um, instead of one big long video of me building it because the dragon head is probably going to take a while. Um, when I was playing around building with it, it took um, like probably a little over half an hour, 45 minutes maybe, something like that. And uh, yeah, the monster spawner definitely takes, like, quite a bit of time. So you can see I have way more wood now. I've brought some treasure chests in here. So there's a bunch of cobblestone and wood in that one. And some more random stuff in that one. So, yeah, that's kind of what's been going on there with the lack of video posting was, uh, Losing a bunch of my stuff kind of demotivated me to even keep playing in this survival world for a good couple of days, and then I got cleaning up everything. That took a couple of more days, and then I've been really busy at work lately, so um, I've had no spare time at work to do much of uh, anything except work. Um, so I don't really have, what was it? okay, I don't really have much, uh, plans for this video other than to keep you guys up to date on what I've been doing. So yeah, when I, um, cleaned up the dragon head, I brought my map or maps in here. So you can see on this map, that one, that's the big area where I was kind of thinking of building a bridge for the horse and then I got thinking of building over here oops um for the bridge but I'll show you or even like right here but I'll show you guys kind of what's stopped me from maybe doing that so we'll go to the one that's slightly closer okay one of i think one of these holes over here is one of those caves i was talking about but i could be wrong yeah right there okay 
Whew, okay. Close call. I'm, I love that there's like so many mountains in here. The world looks so good. And you know there's gonna be like a ton of resources in there to play with. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I could do a bridge from here to here, but um, if I do that and it lines up with just down here, I'd have to shave this down a bit to make it easier to run around with the, the horse. And then you can see this is just like massive forest, so like there's no real point in bringing the horse over here and then again that's just all mountains so trying to run a horse around in mountains is not going to be super duper effective either and you know what since I'm actually talking so much about my horse I may as well finally show the darn thing off since you know I keep talking about it and then never show you guys my horse so let's go back to the castle because he's um, he's penned up and you'll see his little pen too I guess because I haven't really showed that off too much either. Uh, I'm going to have to go, oh just picked up a random tree, awesome. I'm going to have to go collect an axe. So there's a little donkey in here, I'm not quite sure, and a pig. How did you get in here? I'm not sure how the donkey or the pig got in here but yeah there's there's my my pony. Um, it took me a while of roaming around to actually find a white horse because I wanted a white horse. And can we get close enough so that yes? So I named him One Trick because of that old saying, One Trick Pony. Ha 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 ha. Yay! Thank you for the feathers. Now I can make some arrows for my not so great bow. Um, let's go put some of this stuff away and then I'll show you the, uh, other area that I was talking about for building the bridge. So, egg can go in there. Do I have much food to collect in here? Not really. Okay. Ah, stop. Okay. Put one chicken in there, waste a coal on one chicken, but whatever. Put you with you, and I think I have some feathers stored in here. Yeah, like three of them. What is that, like 12 arrows, I think, or something? I just need three sticks and three flint, which I definitely have. Twelve arrows is not going to do me a lot of good. Okay, get out of my way. Thank you. So. Ooh. A spotted horse. Hmm. Should I tame him and call him Spot? Maybe. Okay. Stick around, horse. We're going to maybe come back for you for the end of the video. Um. This cave system, I think, is the one that got me lost. Maybe it was a slightly different one. It was like almost two weeks ago now, so I can't really remember too well. So, this river kind of winds back around to the ocean and then winds back around to that big area there and almost all of it has little to no land to build a good bridge from and then if you do go over it as you can probably see from here it's again just like a lot a lot of forest this area is a little bit flatter so I'll probably end up building the bridge over here but then just like kind of start with walking around here and exploring and make sure that in any of that exploring that I never go anywhere without a compass ever again. 
I can't believe I did in the first place, but uh, I didn't think I was lost at first, and then after about five or ten minutes of running around, I realized I was horribly lost, and yeah, had no idea how to get back to the cave that I was in, and I bet you if I did find the cave that I was in again, I probably wouldn't, still wouldn't have been able to find my way back home. Yeah, and the compass doesn't point, like, exactly to the castle, but it takes me to a square that's right in front of my fishing dock, so... I mean, really, no matter where I end up in the world, I can always get back to my fishing dock, and... From there, I'm pretty sure I can find my way home. Are you still around, Spot K? I saw you in the background. Do I have a lead for you, though? we go. Grab my lead. Come with me. Leash. Seriously? <sighs> Come on. Are you kidding me? <sighs> yeah, and mounting's not going to do anything because you're not tame. How do I? <coughs> Oops. Uh, how do I un unlead you? <laughs> do I need to feed it first for it to? Follow me. I'm so confused. It was so much easier the last time that I got the white horse. I'm like, I'm speechless. Usually I talk way more, but I'm just, I'm dumbfounded. I don't, I don't know how to un, unlead him. Do I just, do I, is it because I'm sneaking? Mm. Is that it? No. Oh my gosh, and you're like way, way up there. Okay, well, I'm, it's getting to be nighttime. I'm just gonna go back to my castle. And if you follow me, great, and if my lead breaks, well, that'll suck. How long will this lead get? Is it, yeah, okay. I knew it would break at some point, because that's happened before. Did you just like spin around on me again, screen? <sighs> Maybe I need to make my controllers, my little buttons bigger for my, my thumbs are, are too big to be playing nowadays or something, I don't know. Well, there goes that idea for the end of the video of getting the horse over here because I don't feel like gathering a bunch of food and going to feed it. So, um... After you guys all watch this, uh, please like and subscribe if you liked it at all. I know it's going to be a little bit short. Sorry for that. Um, and definitely leave in the comments uh, 
what you'd like to see first for the video, the dragon head or um, the monster spawner or would you actually like to see me build the bridge and go do some exploring? Okay, which bad? Which very bad? I was gonna go do some fishing, but I think in here I have a bow. Um, sticks. Flint. Others. Stop it! Grr! I so absolutely hate it when that happens. And it's been happening a lot lately. And I certainly don't remember con changing my controller size, but uh, sometimes I do let my son play this on my phone, so wouldn't surprise me if he shrank the controls for his thumb size or whatever. Okay, the witch is gone. <laughs> no, I heard you. Ah, no, stop it. Milk gets rid of, okay. Full health bar, okay. Or food bar, I mean. <sighs> Empty buckets, okay. Yeah, sorry, I was, I was gonna say milk gets rid of um, status effects. I should maybe find a cow. Oh, I hate you so much. Thank you for dying. That sucked so bad. What is that one? Blindness? Is that what that is? I should probably maybe put my bucket in my inventory. If I'm gonna milk cows, probably makes no difference. Again, don't really play a ton of survival. Are you just a baby? And I can't milk you? No, you look. back here. I want some more milk. Nope, oh, don't turn around. Thank you. Yeah, two buckets of milk is probably good. And that status effect is wearing off now, so... Huh, my volume's all okay. Having a little trouble hearing the game, but, um... Whatever. Okay, really, the loss of, like, one food bar makes it so I don't regenerate? Or am I just regenerating super slow? Oh, well. I'll eat an apple. Really quick. And fill up that last little food bar. Uh, let's put my milk in here and my buckets uh, in here. Oh yeah. 
There we go. Now my health is filling up. Good, good. Okay. We're gonna go fish for a few minutes now, like I was planning. See what I catch in like one or two minutes. I'm definitely, if I'm gonna be doing any more fishing, I'm definitely gonna have to do some landscaping around here so I can get to my fishing dock more easily. Oh, seriously, just thank you. Did they both close? Good. Now nothing will catch me. Man, every time that screen flips around like that, I just get so, so lost. Okay. Fish. Waiting for the bubbles. Got you. Just regular fish. Okay. I wish if you, you, you could like aim it at the squids and catch the squids. That'd be cool. And then you could like cook the squids. But I'm a fan of calamari, so there you go. Ooh, a puffer fish. Yay. I still need to go find a blaze and kill it in the nether so I can get an end rod to make a brewing stand. Oh, speaking of the nether, I should show you guys real quick um, a little tiny bit of something that I did in there just before I went on my massive cleansing of this area and tidying of this area. Um, I went back into the nether just to poke around and see what else I could collect in there, maybe start, oops, oh yeah, maybe collect some, uh, quartz and, uh, yeah, collect up enough quartz to build a nice little modern house out on the ocean. It's definitely, that's a, also another build idea that I have is building a place to live on the ocean because I think it'd be cool so yeah you come out of the portal and now there's this uh, this big wall here because um, originally when I came out um, or originally when I came back in here to poke around you can hear it I think there's a, a gas out there and it it killed me <laughs> yep so I just built a fancy little wall and then this is where I've been coming to collect all my nether rack. I haven't gotten any quartz in here whatsoever, but I like that I can even take like a stone pickaxe and still pretty quickly just gather a whole bunch of nether rack. And then I think this in the nature texture pack like this <coughs> for building the the dragon head it looks kind of like scales so I think it looks pretty sweet anyway um, I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna save and quit and then I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking what I was talking about for my idea that I came up with for the dragon head and then we can maybe end the video looking at the dragon head yeah see cobblestone is resistant to gassed fireballs hence the cobblestone wall inside the nether so the little gasty guy can't really do anything except sit outside and make his weird noises Guys, remember this from a video I posted <laughs> earlier today, actually. Um, this is an epic modern mansion that uh, Almost Addicted did in an 
like two hour tutorial. It's a little less than two hours. Um, I copied like three quarters of it, maybe. And then the rest, most of the interior is me because he didn't do any of the interior in his video, which is perfectly fine. Um, yeah, here's my dragon head. Anyway, so yeah, like all fire in the mouth, fire in the nose, fire for the eyes. And then um, I want to get some nether brick and do the ears and the little head spikes out of uh, out of nether brick because I think that would be cool yay pixel art yay another video you guys can watch to see all my little pixel art and the rest of this world this over here is a little castly thing that I was working on but kinda gave up on it after a while because I want to build an epic epic castle and this is you like too way too small <laughs> Or what I want to build. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, everybody. Peace.